What's populating, fam? It's your boy, Unk No Punk. Unk No Punk, another short video just for you. This is going to be about, you know, these the Afghani savagery that we are letting into the United States of America. That's right, the Afghani savagery that we are letting into America, right? They got two guys, two Afghani men. I think one was 32 years old, one was about 20, right? I forget their goddamn names. If I told you names, it'll make a goddamn difference, right? Anyway, these two dudes. One, first up, dude, he's touching on kids, you know, a couple of times. You know, boys, you know what I'm saying? So that's what we're going to have to look forward into America. More of this, right? The other guy, he's, um, he, he beats his wife and said, he, he, he been, been raping me. He beat her one time while in Afghanistan. He beat her until she lost her vision. And I guess her vision also came back, right? The whole thing about it is like, that's what they do. You know, that's their lifestyle. That's their culture, right? Their theme, they beat their bitches. Put it that way, family. I don't know how, how, how hard it sounds, but they beat their bitches. You know, I'm talking to my people. They beat their bitches, you know what I'm saying? Sharif, Sharif Law, that's what they do. Their wife cannot come out of line. Their wife can't um, throw no insults at them. Like American woman, sit there and curse their men out. F you, you F boy, or uh, whatever, whatever. They cannot do that there in Afghanistan. You know what I'm saying? But now they're at this, um, this fort. I forgot the name of the goddamn fort where they had all this happened at. At a fort. American story, this all stuff happened at. Now she can claim, um, she can speak up now. She can say what happened. You know what I'm saying? Because she's in fear. He even said that, I will beat you. I will see back that back to the Taliban and all this kind of shit like that there. You know what I'm saying? These dudes is wild, right? But like I said, for all that rape she said, oh, he raped me, raped me, raped me. Hey, in Afghanistan, that's not called rape. In America, it's called rape. So therefore, the things in the past, and what's now America's story, you need to talk about that shit there. Before then, that's a whole different lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? But like I'm saying, fam, we're letting all this garbage into America. We're letting these garbage into America with these dudes touching on kids, things in there, or their fucking norm. That's their culture. No, people get mad when I say things like that. Think I give a damn huh, if you get mad, huh? Check on goddamn, um, just type in Afghani dancing boys. Afghani dancing boys, right? I made a video on that before one channel that YouTube snatched away. How the Afghans would like take little boys, you know, and make them dance and have them dress as little girls. You know what I'm saying? Just type in um, Afghani dancing boys. You might see one of my videos of my black action joints. You know what I'm saying? They make them dance around, kidnap them, keep them, you know, have sex with these little kids, these little boys. That's what they want. You know what I'm saying? They want to kidnap them a little bit. They kidnap these little boys they're called Afghani dancing boys. You know what I'm saying? These motherfuckers naturally, it's, I'm not saying all of them are like this, but it's in their culture, it's in the norm. Well, this dude, we got them booty bandit, but have sex with them, it's not no thought to them. It's no thought of no kind of prosecution to them. You know what I'm saying, fam? I done seen parks and, and Cabo. I see in my own eyes, dudes laying out in the goddamn grass. Me and my boys riding by a pickup truck. I'm like, oh, check that shit out there. Like, damn, this is Afghanistan. These motherfuckers laid down them, on, on, on the grass like man and woman talking to each other, close to the shit like that. That's in their culture. And that's the shit that fucking Biden has brought to America. Once they disperse these goddamn Afghanis out to America, put them there in the neighborhood right near you or next door to you, you better watch your kids. You better watch your kids. They're going to be snatching them up too. No, They're going to miss the little Afghani dancing boys. right? They're going to start snatching the little Americans and make them little dancing boys. Best believe you're going to have more and more shit happening. These dudes, once they get outside their own society, right? They're going to get jobs, get some schools. They're going to move around inside, inside society. But their mentality is going to be the same, right? We had these little dumb American girls who were like, oh, I like I like Abdullah. Abdullah's nice, and this and that. Abdullah gonna act real nice and smiley and, and subserve it around you and your mother and father. Once you put that ring on, so you get that goddamn visa, get his green card, you gonna see the real monster Abdullah pop out. Shut up, bitch. Sharif Allah, give me some head. Da, da, da. <laughs> rape, rape, he don't goddamn rape. Shut up, bitch. Sharif Allah, I'm, I'm a goddamn man. You're a woman. Do the fuck I tell you to do. That's an original the fan fan. Watch out. But like I say, fan, 
Be careful with these Afghanis dudes coming in with their savagery. With their savagery, touching on kids, raping on women, beating them down until they go blind. That's more and more shit that Uncle Punk predicts is going to happen in America once you let these fools just come on through. You know, it's in their culture. And it's, like, it's going to be in one, one generation. They're going to have seeds. It's going to be in the inside. It's going to take about two, two generations to get that savagery out these Afghanis believing that this could beat up on women until they get blind, raped, touching on kids, and making little kids Afghan dancing boys and raping them, fam. And I'm out. Peace.